Hi everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for checking in. Doing uh, spaghetti squash in oven. 425. I did cut it into quarters. Don't mind the dog drinking in the background. But we're going to put it in there and check it after about 30 minutes. Thanks for staying tuned. I'm going to do a shrimp alfredo with broccoli and make some uh, Cheddar Bay biscuits. As you can see that brand. Or if you have Bisquick mix, you can use that stuff. It has the recipe on the box. Just saying. I used to work at Red Lobster. And I had to go and get Bisquick mix to make the biscuits when we ran out. Just saying. Tastes the same. But I have broccoli I need to use up. I uh, need to use up Alfredo. Use whatever you want. I'm going to cut it with some chicken stock. I have some garlic herb uh, cheese mixture. It's basically like cream cheese. There's a couple tablespoons of that. I'm going to throw that in there. Why not? Get rid of it. We're cleaning out the fridge, my friends. I have some shrimp. If you don't want shrimp, absolutely use chicken. Uh, you can use canned chicken. If you stocked up your pantry, rotisserie, whatever you want. But I need to use up my shrimp that's been in the uh, freezer for a while. Oh, and I got Italian style a cheese. That I'm going to put on top as well. So let me get my stove going because I got 13 minutes left on my squashes to check them and see if they're fork tender so I can shred them up into looking like spaghettis. So, yeah, uh, let me get out my pan to start my shrimp and my broccoli. Check back with you. Wait, okay, before I get that going, I'm going to do my biscuits. I had one package left. Uh, these are the directions for the biscuits. Okay, here's my biscuit dough mixed up with um, whatever the pack came in the red lobster thing um three quarter cups of water i added i actually did a, a cup i also added a uh, diced up green onion um i did have cheddar cheese but this is colby that i shredded because that's what i got cleaning out the fridge you know what i mean but you don't want to over mix it here's my scooper it's a tiny scooper my dog is gurgling at me. He wants stuff. Stop it. No. Or she does. But I'm going to do like two scoops and then put them together. So. Or I make tiny, tiny ones maybe. No, I don't want them tiny. But I'm going to do two scoops. One on top of another. Because they're, they're basically like drop biscuits. And if you want to form them into balls to make them perfect and uniform, go ahead. I'm not doing it. I'm making it look rustic. So let me get these scooped and my squashes should be done. So we're going to take out the squashes and get these scooped up and they go in the oven for, they go in the oven. Um, Lucy, my word. 14 to 16 minutes. And if you have too much on one, just pick it off and put it on another. That's how I roll. Squashes are out. I'm going to let them cool off a little bit and then take a fork to them and shred out the stuff. This dog will not leave me alone while I'm talking to everybody. What is it that you want? What do you want? What? What do you want? Yeah, she's camera shy. Biscuits are scooped in the oven, 14, 16 minutes. I got butter melted. I'm going to mix with a herb packet, which is basically an Italian seasoning mix. It's delicious. That's what you coat them when they come out of the oven. So don't hurt my dogs because they got to play when I'm doing videos. Let me get these in the oven and check back. Okay. I just pulled them out of the oven. They look nice and done and light and fluffy. And I'm just going to spoon over that butter herb sauce that I told you about. If you didn't have that. Yes, it looks like I'm putting a lot on there. But it will soak in. Um, it's garlic powder, onion powder, 
Italian seasonings. The biscuits also have green onion, cheddar cheese, and Colby cheese because I ran out of cheddar cheese. So whatever you got. But we're just spooning it over and you let them sit and they is done. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. All right. So I got two tablespoons of butter, a tablespoon of olive oil in there. My frozen shrimp. I'm going to break up. We we'll probably won't use all of it for the Alfredo, but I need to cook it. Maybe leftover Ruby shrimp tacos. Does that sound fancy? Oops. I massaged it way too much. Anyway, dump them in. Let's get them cooking. I got broccoli steaming in the microwave. Cooling, cooling off. Thank you for my helper. Thank you, helper. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. But they're big shrimps, so we'll cook these down. And get, get in there. Cl close up. I don't hear a sizzle. Oh, I turned down my stove. Because... My butter was getting nutty. And we're going to cook these up and then add in our sauce. And if we need to thin it out, I'm going to use some chicken uh, stock broth. Stock, whatever. We'll give it a turkey. So let's get these guys going. Oh, I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a teaspoon of garlic. Cause I want, I want garlic Alfredo. And once they get going, I'll stir it in. Flavor our sauce. That's what we're doing. I also shredded up my spaghetti squash. There's my plate. We're not gonna add that in till last minute cause I don't want it to cook anymore. Yes, touch your food, play with your food. Play, touch, touch it, touch it, touch. So basically my shrimp is being poached in garlic, butter, and olive oil. I will take them out once they're cooked. I will take uh, the butter and the garlic and the, it's basically like seafood stock. Remove some of that. Uh, then add in my Alfredo sauce. Get that cooking. Yeah, we're cooking and see where we're at did i did i really forget to turn off my oven yes i did stuff happens but poaching those and then the leftover shrimp can go into um tacos i can season it with taco seasoning or make it into something else i do have my steamed broccoli which looks nice and bright and green that will go in at the end, as well as the spaghetti squash. Obviously, you can use noodles, um, spaghetti noodles, or whatever you want. But this is how we're making it. So, once the shrimp is, like, curling up on itself, you don't want to let it go too far. We're going to pull it out. Like I said, we're not using all of it for our dinners tonight. Might do shrimp tacos. But I'm gonna pull this out and drain off most of this juice and use that for maybe the after. I don't know. We'll see. We're just going with the flow here. But pulling out the shrimp, don't want them getting too overdid. And then it's on to the next step, which will be the Alfredo sauce and. <clears throat> Broccoli and spaghetti squash. Thank you, cameraman. Okay, so I put my Alfredo. Yes, it's a ginormous pan, but I use this um, to clean the rest of it out. Get it out. I'm gonna do a uh, chicken broth, ch chicken stock. If I could pour it in and record at the same time, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna screw on the cap. If I don't drop it. Bear with me. I got one hand. There's stuff left. So, if I need more chicken stock, I'm pouring that in. We're going to... Why not? Use a, use a whisk. 
and whisk it. We got the heat down to like a low because it was very hot from our shrimps. So get that going. <clears throat> um, pardon my throat clearing. A uh, couple zhuzhs of it's probably like a teaspoon of that butter sauce butter and olive and garlic the the shrimp because frozen shrimp has um lots of salt in it and water so i didn't want to put salt in here but mix that together and then our next thing and then our next thing is uh i mean grab my tongs here and throw a couple pieces of shrimp in well more than a couple probably half of what i mean and i think that was like half a bag of 40 count we get this stuff from sam's oh maybe i won't have enough for tacos which is absolutely fine it's absolutely fine not to have enough for tacos so just dump it in a little bit more sauce i do get the peeled and deveined and sometimes i do miss the vein but that's not gonna hurt you or anything it's not gonna taste the best but get that all nice and coated next thing we're gonna add is our broccoli and i am not going to dump it in because i forgot i steamed it and it has water in there we don't need more water than what we got so let's throw in our broccoli pieces i think it looks okay right now we'll see how it looks when i put it in a pretty bowl and assemble it with our cheddar bay biscuits but coat these guys in the sauce it is a little bit watery but it's also creamy yeah it's creamy look at when you can do that this and it does the line yeah it's good it's not too runny it's not too thick see look at that look at oh pretty lines it's like it's like sauce or gravy but once I put in the spaghetti squash and like I said, you can use whatever pasta you want. Um, but before I do that, I am going to give it a little taste. See where we're at with flavor. A quarter cup of grated parm. You know, you know the kind. Add that in and then um, maybe mozzarella, shredded mozzarella when serving. So I'm going to let this get melded together and then serve it. Okay, first off, I apologize for the color, but can I say that them biscuits look bomb? Look, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Look, light and fluffy. Do not over mix your dough. That's what makes them light and fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> but like I said before, can't afford the Red Lobster mix, which I had it from Sam's Club. It was like a bulk deal or something. But yeah, it was good. Yes, on point. These are my shrimps. I did add some pepper on top, sauce. Shrimps are perfect. Not overdone, not rubbery, and like, eh, like angry at you. And then it's spaghetti squash. So you just stir it all together. I did not mix the spaghetti squash in because I think if it cooks more, it's going to get more wet. I'm sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. But it is delicious. And the extra, like, parm added and 
thinning out the sauce a little bit with um, some chicken stock. Makes it good. If you want to add lemon, go ahead and add lemon. I didn't do it because I thought it would break the sauce, but oh my word, it's yum yum. Mmm. Tastes good to me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you try this recipe. See you soon. Thanks. Thanks. Good Lord. Get your words out. I can't think because the food is so good. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you try this meal. We'll see you soon. Bye.